right, this is my intro. We listen to the Food for Thought by Currency. Um, and well, yeah, today has been a pretty productive day considering I finally got a full day of work. Hi, awesome weather makes for a great outside job, so not too bad. Glad it's not a permanent situation, but uh. Hey, job changes, different jobs. What's up when you build the buildings, right? You see the crazy vibration? But, um, yeah, I guess what? I guess we're going to talk, what? I guess I'll talk about, uh, I guess we, we, we're going to start off with what I had on my mind. Um, uh, how... Your life is literally what you make it. It sounds really stupid. It's been something that I've been mulling over and shit, but if you ultimately boil down to it, everybody's life is literally what you make it. You speak everything into existence, and it's kind of weird because it's everybody seems to live in their own universe because, you know, we live a, a life of try to mask the solitude of being alone with others and things like that and you know you need the companionship of others but ultimately we live we walk a life that is alone uh and it sucks sometimes but other times it's kind of cool i mean it's always nice to have support but ultimately at the end of the day all you really have is yourself and it's not a good or bad thing. And you shouldn't use it as a slope, as an excuse to, to constantly say, ah, oh, fuck everybody. I don't want to put no time into nothing. Because honestly, as I see, you know, and this goes for me too, people are fucking stupid. People are stupid. Stupid, they make mistakes, they say shit they don't mean, make dumb, dumbass fucking mistakes. But... That's the fun in life, right? You know, because if it was predictable and everything worked out, wouldn't it just be a boring, bland, good time? You know what I mean? It's kind of that whole balancing of everything. Like, there has to be bad going on with everything because it wouldn't make having the good feel good. You know, it would just be like, hmm, you know, whatever. But if, oh, my car just caught on fire, but... I just inherited millions of dollars. Like, hey, that that makes the bright side even brighter. Um, but it, it's it's hard to remember that sometimes because the amount of stuff going on in most people's lives and all these things, it seems to be that it's really easy to lose track of yourself. Um. No matter what it is, other people, you know, relationships with family members, friends, lovers, all that stuff, like, things change. And sometimes certain things affect you in certain ways that bring out a side of you that you may not even know. And it's hard to find who you are again because we're on the never ending battle of trying to figure out who we are at the same time trying to figure out what's going on in the world with those around us it's like it's like a conundrum because go out to find and figure out things about other things but you barely know about yourself like this you know besides what they've documented in most books and things like you, you can't really explain why people are alive like you think that a pile of elements or a, a, a blob of goo just came together and the guy just stepped out hey like it's crazy and that goes on al along the lines of like you know it's more to this life than what it seems because certain things are unexplainable like you know if it was all about survival of the fittest why do why do people have consciousness why do people think why do we need to interact why do we feel things why do we why do we do things that aren't towards going to you know survival of the fittest now i'm not saying that's not 
a part of the picture. I just feel like it's not the whole piece. Um, yes, I do feel that survival of the fittest is like the, the number one rule when it comes to everything. Nature, living, just being. Survival of the fittest. And especially now lately, it seems that they, they're trying to sway people away from being fit, I guess, you know, fit to live their lives as a self-sufficient individual or not even if they if they can't be a self-sufficient individual, just, you know, don't make excuses for your shortcomings because without those shortcomings, the victory wouldn't taste as good. Uh, without those shortcomings, you wouldn't learn any valuable lessons that may give you the, go the goal that you want. It's like... It seems to be like it's it's a never ending it's a never ending game of we the people are the students and life is our teacher and you either learn you sit there you pay attention or you live a life of confusion and probably someone else's will because being aimless seems to be the the number one killer in like most people's situation, like not having any kind of structure or background or anything or doing anything, um, it just seems to destroy people. Um, but it's crazy how the way things work. It's, it's like you think to yourself one day, ah, this shit ain't gonna never happen, or like, I ain't gonna never feel this, you know. Insert any general problem that seems in, you know, like a mountain that'll never, that's in, 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 impassable. And by the time you get to the other side, you don't even realize that my whole mindset has changed. And now that mountain that I've struggled and climbed through is nothing more than a molehill. You look back and you laugh and you learn. And that seems to be the name of the game. You have to learn. You have to learn what's going on. You got to learn. Pay attention. Keep your eyes open. Read. Stay sharp. Because if you don't do it for yourself, nobody's going to do it for you. Seems like a lot, of, a lot of things start from within. Ultimately. Because... What you are on the inside ultimately projects into your life regardless of what it is that you're doing. The way it boils down to the way that you work, the way that you act, how you think. What you are inside is who you are on the outside. And it, it's not good to, to hide yourself behind things because ultimately you're going to expose who you really are regardless of how good or clever you think you are like it's going to show and you got to stay true to who you are you got to you got to be who you want to be when you want to be how you want to be at all times because you, you never know man you get one spin you might you might step out and get be paralyzed from getting hit by a bus or something like you don't know it's crazy out here especially now with all all the wild things going on which a lot of these wild things aren't anything new it's just the whole age of social media and cameras and video cord and every fucking thing under the sun just has taken over and given way to light to all the people who I either didn't know what was going on or was blinded because they didn't have any kind of, I want to say, what you say, visual evidence, but a lot of this shit ain't new. Nothing's new under the sun. So it's like, it's, it's like, man, how do you be original in a world full of imitators? And originality is something that, I mean, it just, everybody's situation is in, is unique and individual, and everybody is unique and individual, and at the same time, nobody is. It's kind of like, hmm, 
but really that's how it is because nobody's living the life that you're living nobody's living the life that i'm living or the next person or whatever you never understand what's going on like all it takes is i don't know you might be living the same life down to the t and one decision like i don't know you pick green underwear and they pick pink and like your whole life diverges off into something else just from one underwear choice like it's crazy um yeah and all that jazz about life but anyway i guess i'm gonna talk about how uh um, uncool this fucking weather's been like it's I don't really care too much for the cold, but I don't give a fuck, because, you know, whatever, but this fucking rain and wind, that shit got to go, but, hey, this is just one of the few things that I can complain about, because ultimately everything for me is kind of, kind of, it ain't, it ain't exactly where I want it to be, but it's getting better, so I'm making progress towards my ultimate goal, um, thus, you know, I'm not wasting my time, thus it's worth it to continue to put energy into the things that I have been putting energy into, even though some things I, just, I felt like I didn't put the energy into it because... I didn't feel as though I had the energy myself. I don't know, for a, I wanna say for a while, I, I was losing myself. There's a lot of emotional trauma going on. I had a couple things going on in my life and it just kinda made me forget about myself. I didn't hear my voice anymore and I just kinda buried it under, I guess, emotional crutches. I made this, I made myself feel not completely be. I guess immune to my own my own feelings or just suppress them or not moved by anything because the amount of emotional trouble I was going through was very heavy and I mean, you know, you know your friends and your family love you to death but shit nobody wants to hear somebody complain all day and that's the way i think i mean it may not be true but i mean come on that's that's been like me forever like you can't i don't feel like you can rain your problems down on somebody all the time even though venting is something that I pretty much need a lot of times for whatever reason, but, and you know, I'd be all right. Um, but yeah, I guess that's, we'll, we'll, we'll get the little touches about me. You'll figure out who you're listening to, you know, kind of like a, uh, a, uh, I don't fucking know. Some give me some kind of tricky puzzle or something like that. And that's that's me. But hey, this is the process of not, you know, simplifying the complex because this has been something that I've been trying to figure out. This is me along my journey of figuring out who I am and where I'm going, or not even so much where I'm going, what direction I want to go in. But it's just a portion of my life right now. But things are, you know, fortunately, I'm not so caught in in my emotional states anymore because you know, I've, I've been going to do things, you know, reconnect with me, my star player, you know, <laughs> winner. But um. It's, it's, I gotta say, it's not, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. Um, yeah, that's right, I didn't even give away what the whole issue was. It was really just, uh, I, I, my mom. Mom's been in a 
coma for almost two years now. Well, something like the term or something. Basically, she's not there. So it's been really hard for me because she's been my support system and that's who I go to when I'm having issues. So it was kind of like, I want to say the one person who made me feel as though I shouldn't be closed off and I should be willing to try to talk to people and trying to share and who I did share all my things with isn't there anymore so not so it kind of really amplified the feeling of being alone and that I had nobody to turn to and I couldn't talk to nobody and I nobody understands and nobody gets it or I need to suck it up and I know it's not true, but it it feels like it is. And for me, saying and doing things and knowing to work, how to do processes and go through things, I can tell you all day. I can usually tell you what my problems are and how I can fix them. It's the whole actual working through the emotions, which is what tears me up. I'm not the greatest with feelings. Yeah, I'm horrible with feelings. I, only my own feelings. And yeah, pretty fucking depressing, right? But anyway, I'm done with that nonsense. Um, we'll, we'll probably touch back on that at a later date. But uh, yeah. Um, let's see. Let's see. We're just gonna run the currency today i don't know man if, you know if somebody wants to you know make a request or something about music to be played or you got something worthwhile playing i mean send it to me i mean i'll play it and i guess i'll just vent about what the fuck is going on in my life or what the fuck is going on in the world or sports or how them cowboys lost nigga and hey, nigga no more no more cowboys post Except for the real fans. Y'all real fans, y'all cool. I ain't that ain't for you. I'm just talking about the bandwagoners. Like, fuck y'all. I get tired of that shit. But anyway, it's my little sports rant. You know, I don't follow sports very well enough to give you any kind of numbers or anything like that. You know, I, I catch the game when my homie's watching it. So, you know, I have something relevant to talk about when the conversation goes to sports. So I won't just be standing there like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. He, he caught it. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't even talking about the wrong team, bro. Like, like, whoa. I ain't, I ain't trying to be that guy. So, you know, I, I dip and dabble. But I do that with everything. I'm kind of like a jack of all trades and the master of none. And I think I'm getting tired of that moniker because I, I, I want to specialize in something. I want to do some something. But... That's the issue. What is this something? I got a couple hobbies. I got a couple things that I'm good at, you know. Um, I don't think I'm a bad guy for the most part. I, I try not to be. We all make mistakes, though. But for the most part, I'm, I'm, I'm a fairly good guy. I think so, anyway. Um, but, yeah. But, uh... I guess this will be the end of this episode, and this will be the longest of all of them. Yeah! I gave you almost a 20-minute video. Hey, that's right, dude. But I guess I'm going to be more diligent about getting this camera in front of me because my big thing is I usually don't know what the fuck to talk about because I guess I'm on the spot feeling, but not so much i just don't have any ideas of like what's a good topic so you know like i said i greatly appreciate all the comments i get and i read and i try to consider them when i do my videos so all comments are welcome any kind of support criticism i don't know you want to say i'm fucking ugly comment god damn it um but yeah that's uh
that's uh my 20 minute update of random nonsense going on in my head hey but till the next time world i'm out of here